What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to King and I Life Podcast. It's your man, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother. Sound so lax. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, we are back, we are back. There's been a lot going on in the world, in America, and all over the place. But um, we're going to chop it up. We're going to talk about the crisis in Ukraine. Uh, I'll let you open this one. Alright. Well, uh, as usual, you guys know where you guys can find us on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, of course. And please continue to hit that like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. We're 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 getting close to the hundred mark. We're not quite there yet, but we're striving to get there. So please continue to do that. Um and of course, we're on all of your major podcast platforms. Um, was there anything else you you want to add to that? No, nah, we already got the intro for that. You add a little bit in there so we can kick it on. All right. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to be talking about the crisis in Ukraine, which is a subject that I know everyone around the world is basically looking at right now. Um, and people have a wide range of opinions on the subject. But uh, war has been and will continue to be a continuous subject for many reasons there that are un- understandable. And in some cases, mind blowing depends on an individual's view. It will be a debatable topic, regardless of a person's individual opinion. One sensitive issue when it comes to this is the laws of war. The challenges between the two are not new. It has been going on since February of 2014, but has since boiled over when Russia invaded in February of 2022. So it's been going on for a while. It just got to a point where <laughs> Russia basically said, F it, let's go and do it. And that's where we're at right now. So your mm-hmm. thoughts on Russia attacking Ukraine? <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to speak on this topic from a from a civilian's point of view. Um, from, uh, I just think it's retarded. Like, I mean, I can't get into the mindset of Putin, but from what I've listened to in the news, he pretty much doesn't want the Ukraine to be part of NATO. And that's and that he's trying to, I guess, trying to get the USSR back together like it used to be. Um, but o- overall, I just think it's it's a it's a sad thing that he's done, especially with the, with the lives that it's affecting right now. Um. My thoughts are kind of, I see both sides of the coin, meaning I sympathize with the people or the nation of Ukraine. On the other hand, I see why Putin has taken the line that he's he's obviously on. He basically drew a line in the sand and said, hey, if y'all cross this line, I'm going to do what's necessary. Um, meaning with Ukraine joining NATO, he didn't have a problem with that. He advised them not to. They went on and did it anyway. But what it comes down to is he's basically saying you guys are attached to the nation of Russia. And because you're taking that stance of being part of United Nations, you're allowing them to come into the nation of Ukraine and set up military forces meaning all kind of bases and weaponries and <laughs> armories and you name it they got it there and it's like okay now y'all y'all too goddamn close to comfort for me i'm feeling uncomfortable with that 
So it is basically like if you were to take the state of California being connected to the U.S. how it is. It's all joined together. 